Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Well, this is going to be another very quick product review. I got this device from Buy Easy, and it allows you to add two extra USB 3.0 and SD reader and TF card reader along with a USB Type-C USB 3.0 connector to the front of your computer. Now that's assuming that you have a place to put this. It is a three and a half inch form factor. It's meant to fit into a comp computer where the old floppies used to be, way back when, back in the, in the old days. You can also get an adapter to convert the three and a half inch to a five and a quarter, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Or you could just, you know, mount it externally if you'd like to do it that way, although that's gonna be a little bit tricky in terms of the power, as you will see. It's meant to be mounted inside of one of the traditional PCs that have either a three and a half inch or a five and a quarter inch drive bay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this to a box opening and I'm going to take a quick look at it and give you some of my opinions about uh, you know, some of the features that it's showing. And then I will test it on a real computer, but I'm gonna have to test it on a somewhat modern computer because the connector that they give you for the motherboard is one of the newer 3.0 connectors, the dual port connector from a, a regular, as if you were putting it in a case and the case had its own 3.0 connector, usually a blue or in some cases a black connector. That's a, a, a 15 pin connector that plugs in and transfers over. It's usually very thick cables to that, transfers that over to the front panel of the case. So if you happen to have a motherboard that has two of those connectors, and you're not using one because the case only required one, then you could actually put this in, assuming you have a drive bay on your case that allows for that. So if you get something out of this video that you find useful or helpful in any way, I would appreciate it if you at least consider subscribing to my channel. That would be very helpful. So without any further ado, let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so here is the box that it came on. It's got some general information about it in the back. They refer to it as the front panel USB hub. It's more than a hub. I mean, obviously it does that, but it also allows you to put it in a case that may not come with specific, specifically enough 3.0 USB ports, or if you wanted to have SD card readers or TF card readers. So let me go ahead now and open this up and see what's inside. What we got here? Looks like one piece of tape here. So there's a cable here. It's got the 15 pin connect connector I just mentioned. But on the other end, it's got like a standard USB. So that's an unusual connector to it. But let's see what we got in here. This looks like uh, they got the screws, I guess, mounted into the PC. Oh, I see. It looks like a cable to tap in. So it's got a male and a female SATA power connector. And then it's got another one that is another female. Chances are this is a male connector in this end. Let's take this out. Take a look at it. Okay, so this would connect here. Either one of the females connected up to this, or you don't really need this if you happen to have a spare connector in your case. So this would be an extra cable that you've gotten, because these are the standard ones that would be made available to you from your power supply. So we plug this in here as the power, like that. And then this cable, this end that just looks like it has a USB 3.0 on it, would go into this little port right here like that and that's all you need to do and then this would of course go to your motherboard hopefully your motherboard has the 15 pin connector that would support that and then on the front we've got what looks like two usb 3.0 ports there's another usb 3.0 port over here that looks like it's a type c connector though and then it's got a regular sd and then it's got the micro sd some people refer to it as a tf it's pretty simple now, if you want to put this in a five and a quarter inch bay, you're going to need an adapter. Let me get one of those out so you can take a look at that. Okay, so here's uh, an adapter that you could get to uh, mount it in a five and a quarter inch bay. This is really old. I probably purchased this thing, I don't know, about 15 to 20 years ago. It came with a Molex to three and a half inch floppy power connector. I actually have a three and a half inch floppy down in my case somewhere. Maybe in a future video, I'll show some of the old stuff. And it comes with the screws to mount it to the case if you don't already have some of those. So what this would do is this would actually go into here. 
and you would screw it in place and then from the front it would look like this a little bit difference in the type of black I mean this is flat black and this is a glossy black but it's still black and that's how it would be mounted into a five and a quarter inch bay if you happen to have one of those cases which are starting to become harder and harder to find although I have a couple of them that uh, you could actually have but if you've got one of those cases that does have this and you want to have extra USB 3.0 ports or you want to have uh, another type C connector up front rather than back on the back of it assuming that you know most motherboards have it IO section of the motherboard so you're going to move that up front so it's nice and handy for you then this would be the way to go. I'll connect it to that computer I won't be able to install it it does not have a, a bay that'll fit either one of these but I'll be able to install this outside of it and we'll be able to at least test it from there. I have a very fast SD card connected up to a USB 3.0 converter that converts from SD to USB 3.0. And I've tested this before. This particular combination runs at 10 gigabits per second. So this is very fast with a USB 3.0 con uh, connector. Hopefully this compares to the one that I tested this against. But we'll see. Okay, so here's the backup editing rig that I have that I'm going to connect this thing to. It does not have a five and a quarter inch bay, as you can see, like most of the modern cases that you buy. So I'm just going to put it on the top or on the outside, depending on where the cables reach to. So let me take the skins off, and we'll do that next. I haven't had this off in a few months now. So I have a SATA power connector right over here. I'll just tap into that. So now we have power and I'll s scoot this through and bring it up around the top so I can get to the, the motherboard and connect up to that. So I have the USB 3.0. This motherboard only has one of them. So I'll have to pull the other one off that's currently on the front panel like that. And then I'll take the one that I've passed through and I'll connect it up to this connector. So that should do it. I'll power it on. Okay, it's all hooked up. Let me see if I plug this guy in. Will it see it? Oh, it lit up. There it is. USB drive D. 60 gigabytes. That's what that trick card is. I've already loaded Crystal Disk Mark. So let me run Crystal Disk Mark against that guy and see what happened. Okay, let me run this against drive D. There it is. 58 gigabytes. I'll do all. It's testing it. I should be seeing over 90 megabits, megabytes per second. There we go, 90.66. So that is definitely USB 3. If I connect to a USB 2, 2.0, you don't get those kind of numbers. And I'll show you the chart at the end, the differences between them. Okay, all done. Now let me take this one out, come down here and safely remove the USB. Now it's safe to remove. Get back over here. I'll take this out. I'll pull this card out, the SD card, and I'll stick it into the SD slot that this is providing. And it's connected as drive G this time. So let's try this again. So now we have it as drive G, no longer drive D, because each one of those were assigned default drive letters when the PC first booted up. Drive G, there it is. I'm gonna run the test. If I try to do this test on my other computer with it in the SD, since I have a, a competitor's front panel device like that for the SD, those are only running at uh, USB 2.0 speed. And I'll show you that at the end. Well, that completes it. A little bit slower, but still pretty good. Well, this chart shows a summary of all the performance testing. I'm comparing it to my standard editing rig, where it actually has a front panel USB 2.0 SD slot and a front panel USB 3.0. As you can see, the BiEasy USB and the SD slot both performed extremely well, just under the level of performance of the main one that was built into my PC. Okay, that completes this little quick review of this BiEasy USB hub, as they refer to it. But it's really the ability to put 
additional front panel connectors, including SD card readers directly onto the front of your PC if you happen to have a five and a quarter or three and a half inch bay available to do that with. Mostly if you're gonna take an older case that has at least a semi-modern motherboard in it in order to allow you to connect it up to the motherboard. So once again, thanks for watching and please consider subscribing. Well, until the next time, take care.